Homework 21 has us looking at writing equations of lines given certain information. Now the instructions here say to leave it in slope intercept form, so let's make sure that we, uh, we take care of that. So for this first one it says the slope is negative 92 and the y-intercept is 0, 31 sixteenths. So remember that y equals mx plus b is a great form to work with. So note that you already have your slope and you already have your b for the y-intercept. So it's just a matter of writing that in here. So that's negative 92x plus the b value is 31 over 16. And there really is not much to that one. But I can't say the same thing for, uh, for number 2. Number 2 has you passing through two different points. So we must first find the slope. So the slope is going to be the change in y over the change in x. Now it doesn't matter which one you call the first point or which one you call the second point. So, I mean, I just gave them to you fairly arbitrarily anyway. So we'll call that the first point. Call that one the second point. So, y2 is going to be 6 minus y1, which is negative 2. Watch your signs when you're plugging into this formula. x2 is negative 1 minus x1, which is 3. So 6 minus a negative 2 is a positive 8. Negative 1 minus 3 is negative 4. And this just gives you a slope of 2. Or negative 2, excuse me. Now, you can take this and use the slope-intercept form, or you could use the point-slope formula. Okay? Remember the point-slope formula says this. y minus y1 equals m times x minus x1. And it doesn't matter what point you plug in here. You could plug in 3, negative 2, or negative 1, 6. So let's plug those in and see what happens. I've got y minus. If I use the y1, this is a negative 2. My slope is negative 2 times x minus your x1 is 3. So when I just do the math here, you got y plus 2 equals, and I distribute on the right, negative 2x plus 6. Solve for y by moving the 2 to the other side, and you have negative 2x plus 4. Now, check to make sure this is right. If I plug in 3, so negative 2 times 3 is negative 6. Negative 6 plus 4 is negative 2. That checks out. Plug in negative 1, 6. If I plug in negative 1, negative 2 times negative 1 is positive 2, plus 4 equals 6. So both of those points end up being solutions to that equation, so we know we have it right. Well, let's take a look at number 3. And number 3 it gives me the slope and it gives me a point. Now I could use a point slope formula, but I can also use the slope-intercept form. Now see, in this case, I'm, I, I know my slope, but I don't know my b. But that's okay because I have an ordered pair here. I have x and y, so I can plug that in, and the only thing I won't know is b. So the y is negative 5. Your slope is positive 5 halves. Your x is 4, and b is what we are going to find. Now simplify before things get out of hand. 2 goes into 4 twice. So negative 5 is equal to 10 plus b. And when I move the 10 to the other side, I have that b equals negative 15. So I can take my slope that was given, the b that I found, and I put it all together. So y is equal to 5 halves x, your b, your y coordinate of the y-intercept is negative 15. And that's it. Now you do want to make sure that you can plug in these, this order pair that it does work. If I were to plug in 4 here, 
5 halves times 4 over 1 minus 15 so that reduces to give me a 2 I get 10 minus 15 which equals negative 5 and that's what I was supposed to end up with is a negative 5 so I know the answer is right and number 4 says I want to be passing through this point and parallel to this guy Excuse me. To be parallel means you have to have a, the same slope. So there's a shortcut way of doing this if we want to keep things in standard form, but the instructions say to go to slope intercept form, so whatever. Uh, solve this guy for y. Negative 3y equals negative 2x plus 15. And when I divide everything by negative 3, that will finish putting this original equation into slope-intercept form. And the reason I want that is because I want to be able to identify the slope here, which is 2 thirds. And if I know that slope is 2 thirds, then I know what the slope of a line parallel to that has to be, which is 2 thirds. So I can use this, and I can use this point, to find the equation of my line. Now, I'm kind of a fan of the slope-intercept form, so I'm going to go ahead and use this guy. We found the slope, and we have the x and the y coordinates for a point. So plug in everything, see what you have. So 11 is equal to 2 thirds times x, with x which is negative 6, plus b. So 11 equals, reduce this to get negative 2, so that's negative 4, and then when you move the 4 to the other side, you find that b equals 15. So you take your b, you take your slope, and you join them together to get your equation in slope-intercept form, y equals 2 thirds x plus 15. And you can see that this guy is going to be parallel to the original equation we were working with because they have the same slope and different y-intercepts. So these guys are parallel, and this guy would satisfy the order paired negative 6, 11.